sense. But my when I came and got the car, I put like twelve down. Really, I got a check because I was almost done paying the car off. Is that Infinity? Mm -hmm. I thought a nigga bought it for you, so he just he just put down the down payment. What did he do? Yeah, he he put down the down he put down the first ten bands, and then I put I was paying the rest. How long? For seven months. Yep, I had a few more months. I only had three more uh three more months to go. I only had three more months to go. I had had the car for like two years, almost two years. But I was, I mean, shit, it is what it is. That's materialistic. So I feel like I can get it back. I feel like. So you, for, you, overall, I thank God because that accident was serious. Like I have, uh, I still go to physical therapy. They pay me out for the car, but they haven't paid me out for my pain and suffering. So I still have like they trying to give me these injections in my back, and I don't be trusting that pharmaceutical. I'm more holistic. I take herbs. Like I don't be liking that medicine and all that shit. Not unless like dire need type shit. Like, like organic stuff like that. I like organic stuff. Is that a lot? That butt plug will get it? Or no? <laughs> Maybe. Nah, it ain't organic. That shit man made like a motherfucker. Did it make it come? Um, sometimes. So a plug up your ass make you bust a nut. That's crazy. Sometimes. Well, how do you prefer coming? How you like to come? I like to come like with some mouth sucking on my clit. A man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Both. At the same time. Preferably a woman. Like I like I like, I got be, I got I got a girlfriend. Like I got I have a girlfriend now. Really, we just met a couple months ago, but she cool as fuck. Like, and she know how to suck puts good. But I don't know if I want to do hers back because I ain't no judgment for. Don't let me offend anybody who got children or something like that. But you know how they had a pouch. And I like petite. I like petite or either like, if you're not petite, everything need to be tight, firm, and in order. Like you take care of yourself. Are you, are you, are you, are you firm and in order? Because you can't be asked with something that you're not. Let me see. Back up. Let me step back. I, I, I think I'm firm and in order. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm firm and in order. I think I'm okay. I think that curtain, oh, that curtain looks a hot mess. That's a nice butt though. <laughs> Fuck them curtains. It's okay. Fuck them curtains. See why they jump in the tub? You gonna sit in the tub or you just gonna take a shower? No, I'm just gonna take a shower. I gotta um get back up in like three or four hours to get ready to go to work and shit. Well, a lot of cheaper cars don't have tub. Is that why you're taking a shower? Because they don't have a tub? No, it's a tub in here. But I'm not using no tub at this type of hotel. Nigga, I gotta be at the goddamn... Mm -mm. You got them got to be here to get it to, to sit in the tub. Yeah. Yeah. I don't usually use tubs. I don't even sit on the toilet in public areas where other people. I like, I be squatting. Like, I literally like be doing squats. Like, like on the toilet? Yeah. Why you squat? You think someone will jump up the toilet and run up your ass like the butt plug? Possibly. Like a, like a roach? So what? But I can't, I mean, you because, you know, females have to sit down to use it, but, like, in public areas, my mama just told me not to sit on public toilets. So, hotel, the public toilets? Yeah, that's public. You don't know what the fuck these damn maids getting paid to come in here and do. Them bitches be getting paid. Women, they, those ladies, I got to work on my language, excuse me, but, what, they get paid, what, 9 to 12, 9 to Fourteen dollars an hour. You don't know if they clean that shit. Them bitches trying to go ahead and get out their shit and get on to their kids. What do you? Do you sit on public toilets? You probably hold your shit to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't sleep in hotel. Motel six. I, every hotel I stay has, you know, reputable. You know, so. Yeah, this ain't that. This not that. I can't, I can't sit down on that. This ain't that. Can you show me the toilet, please? Let me see. I'm about to show you. Let me flip the camera. Uh, 
Patron. Is that the hey, you're in that Patron? Why look yellow? Let me see. Oh, Reposado, go. Oh, is it Gold Patron? Yeah, it's the Gold Patron. Oh, I thought Aunt Kelly snuck in that peanut thing and gave it to you. So. Huh? I thought Aunt Kelly broke in your hotel room and peed in the um bottom. I don't want to show this fucking thing. Fuck that. That shit looks stupid. That's why it's sitting on me. Why is it shit already? What's wrong? No, I ain't no shit on it. It's just like... It's not like, like, you know, I only been to a couple fancy places because I ain't come from there, but like, I've been to back. It's not like the MSG. It's not like... It's not like that. It's that not like, nothing, that's not nothing to show on social media. What the fuck is the MSG? Huh? Madison Square Garden? What the fuck you mean MSG? Mm-hmm. What's the MSG? You say it's not like the MSG. What's the MSG? It's a hotel in, in Las Vegas. It is? Mm-hmm. It's nice? Mm-hmm. Have you heard of that? Sharice, you live in Vegas. Is it, what's the MSG like? Where is it? You mean the MGM? MGM? You said MSG or MGM? Okay, maybe I'm talking about MGM. Okay, is it across? Okay, I'm. I told you I ain't used to that. I'm just now getting money, so I'm just now starting to like. Okay, is it across? <laughs> is it across the street from like a, a hotel that like look like a pyramid, right? Because that I was in a pyramid hotel. That's the one I went to. It was like a pyramid. The whole hotel looked like a pyramid, like. And then that was across the street, the one you talking about, the M, M, what you, the MGM, MGM. Correct me where I'm wrong. I love positive criticism. Like a big gray hotel or something? Yeah. Like across, okay, let me show you. I can't even show you right now. It's the MGM. I think you're right. I'm talking about MSG. What the fuck? MSG. Square Garden. That's what I thought you was. I thought you were sleeping like. I ain't a, never even been to New York. I ain't never even well, been nowhere. You said MSG. I thought because I know MSG. The Mercy Square Garden has like hallway and bathroom. I thought that's where you slept. So I'm like MSG. She slept in a stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Might be. She need to pray for the motherfuckers who really sleeping up under them motherfucking stadiums and shit. But I'm gonna keep that to myself. So are you driving to wherever you're going? Yeah. You on the world tour? Nah, I'm at work. I go to California twice a month. Why don't you just freaking take a two hundred hour round trip flight to California? This ain't that. You gotta deliver something? This ain't that. My job requires me to drive. It doesn't matter how you get there? Yeah, I have to drive. My job requires me to drive. Are you delivering crack? No. Hell fuck. <laughs> Say the neighbors think I'm selling dope. Hey. Hey. SG, hey. <laughs> no, I didn't stay at the MSG. <laughs> right. What are we calling it again? MSG. Okay. I might make it there one day. I haven't been to New York. New York. That might be a blessing if I make it up there to the MSG. I figured if I ever go to New York, like I would have enough money to like go shopping, because I figured that was like a big city for fashion. Where you shop in New York? Like GS? I don't. I've never been. Have you been listening to anything I've been saying? No, no, I'm just saying, where will you go to shop? Like where? Like lately. I don't know. I probably go to the most expensive shit, like um, like in Atlanta, like where all the Gucci stores and shit at. Okay, like Michael Kors. Like if I had the money to go, like I would literally go to like to probably shop. And buy, in Atlanta, will you buy like ten Michael Kors bags? Like what? No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy that. If you look at my page, I've been buying other shit like Fendi, Gucci. I've been like I've been buying other stuff like that. I'm trying to like, you know, upgrade my little fashion and style and shit. Cause when I moved to Atlanta, they was like ten years behind on fashion. See, in St. Louis, 
where I'm from, originally from, St. Louis, and my grandma from Detroit. Now, all them cities, like, they fashion shit, they hair, all that shit, they be on that shit. Then when I moved to Atlanta, them motherfuckers, like, 15 years behind, and I, 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 I lost my sense, but... Do you, have you ever shop at F21? F21? Hell no. Nah. What, what is, is it? it? You trying to promote your friend shit? Who is F21? Whatever F21. That sound like some broke-ass nigga I done fucked before from the east side. <laughs> Fuck F21. What the hell? Forever 21. Oh, Forever 21? Oh, yeah. I used to go there all the time when I was, like, in high school. <laughs> Where you went to high school? Huh? Where I went to school? Mm-hmm. La Thumb, you? Oh, you like, you know, like, Georgia? Yeah, I know, like, Yeah, that's but, why I went. I went to Miller Grove, right there by the hospital. So, yeah. no dick, no dick coming over tonight? Dick? Ain't no dick. I ain't getting no dick. I ain't getting no dick for a long time. <laughs> Since the nigga bought the um, Infinity, or what? You got something after that? I don't have nothing lined up after that. Um, I mean, I'm... When last time you had... It's Titty Tuesday. When did somebody suck them titties last? Like? Mm, I never get my titties up. Oh, okay. I'll be in the book. Is that like a 34 C? What are you? B. Your B? Okay, it looks like a C. <laughs> it's because this the shirt I got on. I know it's a butt plug. They got like a titty plug you're going to use tonight? I don't know. Mm. No titty plug tonight, but when I was just at Hustlers, the sex shop in New Orleans, like a couple of weeks ago, they did have these like nipple clamps. But I'm not sure if I could take that. Like I have a high tolerance for pain, but the pleasure kind of has to outweigh it for me to take the pain. So I've had my nipples pierced before, prior, like in the past, but I don't know how those nipple clamps gonna feel. I don't know. Have you ever been fucked? Then what? Titty fuck. Titty fuck. When they put the dick between the titties, like, we're going to do that. Mm-mm. I ain't do that. Well, I ain't never thought my titties was big enough. I'm a B. I'm a B, not a D. Yeah, yeah. Because with a B, cause if I try to titty fuck you, I'll probably catch rug. It's rug. not going to work. It's going to be going, like, all down my throat. Like, if it's long. So you don't like pain. So you don't like big dick, pretty much. You like small. No, I, li- I like big dick. <laughs> Like, like, I, I like the, the, I like it to be kind of like, it has to have have a nice girth, like a good, good amount of. Oh, right, open up. Let me see that. Do the arm. Oh, let me see my dick feeling. That. Let me see. Hmm. Do that. Let me see my dick feeling. Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay. I think yours gonna fit. You look like you. I might have to open it up a little bit more, like. Nah, put both of your hands together. Let me see. Oh, you got you to hold the phone, right? Nah, I ain't got to hold it. I can sit it right here. Hold the phone. Okay, so basically it would be like this. Nah, open it. Uh, Can you open it wider? Because my dick still won't fit in there. I mean, I mean, what's your width? Damn. You must got one inch in width. And about 12 inches in length. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm, it's more. <laughs> is your coochie shaved? It's my wet. Your coochie, is it wax? Is it shaved tonight? It's wax. It's wax, but no, it's not wax. Because it's like four weeks after my wax. So I have to go back. I got to go get a Vijay shoe. Oh, well, I, the gesture when they massage your pussy and shit, and they just basically it's like a facial for your face, right? It's like oh, a facial. oh like a pussy facial. Yeah, massage. Can you stop touching your pussy on my fucking live and get me in trouble? Yeah. All right. It's okay. Okay, so it's a pussy facial. How often you get that done? I get that probably. Okay, I get a wax probably every six weeks. That was a nice view. Why you took it away from your pussy view? One of that view. Oh, okay. So I get a wax probably every six weeks, and then I probably get a vajayshu like every three weeks, like can, in between. 
Can you spell Vajayshu? Because I can. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's V A G I C I A L. Vajayshu. You were the school in St. Louis or Latonia? What, like where I finished or what? Uh, you started in Latonia and ended up in St. Louis? I started in St. Louis and ended up in Latonia. When did you, uh, what grade was you in got me left St. Louis? I was in my sophomore year, I oh. think. My sophomore year, yeah. So was it was it hard adjusting to the new high school friends and all of that? I ain't, I ain't never really had no friends my whole life. I kind of been awkward, but um, it was hard kind of adapting to the curriculum because I was on, we was on a different curriculum and the way they broke down their classes, like in St. Louis, we were doing eight classes per day. Like here, they would do four classes in one semester, then four more classes the next semester and break it down like that. So it was a slower curriculum than what I was used to. Oh, okay. So that was different to adjust. I don't, I don't I mean, think, I don't think you're weird. Or, you know, you're different. I mean, yeah, you like butt plugs and you got a scripture on your arms. So what? You just, you yeah. just trying to, you know, have an orgasm and still have a scripture. <laughs> and that's just facts. I'm just trying to um go ahead and bust them nuts. But outside them nuts that need to be must but that I'm past the sex stage. Like I don't even think I love sex. Like I for a long time, even now, I felt like I was a nympho type shit. Like I feel like I was like I still right now to this day feel like I'm kinda addicted to sex. But my self diff discipline and shit like if i can't if i don't have one like somebody who i can just you know that'll be my one person to go to like you know since that lifestyle i told you i was living like if i can't just even that i'll cut anybody off i'll just be without fuck it me and sex toys let's go to um i i know you've probably been to jeju right right there on the north side no no, no. When I go to Atlanta, I try to stay into the in a nice area and not get stabbed in the shit. No, it is a nice area. It's on the north side. It's not in the hood. Oh, okay. I li I don't live in the hood, nigga. I live in Gwinnett. Oh, okay. I love Gwinnett. Yeah, I live in. Talked to a girl named it like fifteen years ago. She's like married now and everything. Yeah. Yeah, she had nice coochie. Yeah, I'm. I live in Gwinnett now. So, yeah, I don't even stay in the hood, but the place I'm talking about, the spa, it's a 24-hour spa, Jeju. But that's what not what that's not what I was getting at. Basically, when I go to Jeju, the 24-hour spa, it's a, a sex store across the street called Tokyo Vanity. And that's that's usually, they got different locations, but that's the one I go to. And then there's another one by, uh... Hmm? Tuck your titties in, what's it called? Tuck your what? It's called Tokyo Vanity. Oh, Tokyo Vanity. Okay. It's not like a place with a happy ending. Is it happy ending there? No, it's just a regular, like, erotic sex store. They sell dildos and shit. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I go usually to, um, to, um, to get all of my toys <laughs> when I can't get no dick. Like in the hotel. I'm in the mood to get pussy too, but you know, right now it's not one of them times. So you're on your way to California right now? No, not right now, but yeah. I I'll, I'll be I'll be in California in a day. You are that close? I'm not that close. Yeah, no, you know in Oklahoma, you're not gonna be on fucking California one day. Yes, I am. You just gonna drive throughout the like, just drive. Drive like I should get my CDLs. I'll be there. I, I don't. I don't really stop unless I need gas. Like, and then on top of that, like I take a lot of herbs and shit for my energy, so I don't be all docile and sluggish and slothish. Like I really be having a, like a lot of energy. It kind of surprises me sometimes. Everybody, somebody want to see outside your hotel door. She don't want to open up door. It's dangerous out there, right? 
Yeah, where the fuck y'all is? 12 o'clock in the morning where I'm at. Who coming outside? Bitches, COVID. Quarantine. Stay your ass in the house. Stay your ass in the room. Wherever the fuck you at. You not letting nobody in anyway. No, I'm a loner. No one would probably even want to come in here if I didn't know them. Like, I would probably have to use my gun permit. <laughs> you have a gun with you in the car? I have a gun on me all the time. You ever kill somebody? What? Have you ever murdered somebody and got away with it? I can't hear you. I don't even know what you're talking about. Have you ever killed somebody? Fuck no. Killed their kindness. <laughs> oh, killed, you ever killed anybody with that pussy? No. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Shit, my pussy bring niggas to life. This ain't that. If bitches out here killing people with pussy, bitch, they need to die and stop doing that shit. Like, somebody need to take them to jail if you killing people with your pussy. Pussy bring life. Pussy is reproductive.